Herpes zoster ophthalmicus, HZO, and also known as ophthalmic zoster is a disease characterized by reactivation of dormant varicella zoster virus residing within the ophthalmic nerve, the first division of the trigeminal nerve. 380 This condition is an important subtype of shingles, representing 15% of all cases. Herpes zoster ophthalmicus is transmitted via direct contact or droplets. Varicella zoster virus is a DNA virus which produces acidophilic intranuclear inclusion bodies. The virus is neurotrophic in nature. The frontal nerve is more commonly affected than the nasociliary nerve or lacrimal nerve. Signs and Symptoms Any potential ocular involvement should be assessed by an ophthalmologist as complications such as episcleritis and uveitis may occur. Skin Viral prodrome Preherpetic neuralgia. Rash, transitioning from papules to vesicles to pustules to scabs. Hutchinson's sign, cutaneous involvement of the tip of the nose, indicating nasociliary nerve involvement. A positive Hutchinson's sign increases the likelihood of ocular complications associated with HZO. Disseminated distribution in individuals with immunodeficiency. Cornea. Epithelial. Punctate epithelial erosions and pseudodendrites, often have anterior stromal infiltrates. Onset 2 to 3 days after the onset of the rash, resolving within 2 3 weeks. Common Stromal Numular keratitis, have anterior stromal granular deposits. Occurs within 10 days of onset of rash. Uncommon Necrotizing interstitial keratitis characterized by stromal infiltrates, corneal thinning, and possibly perforation. Occurs between three months and several years after onset of rash. Rare. Discus form keratitis, discus form endotheliitis a disc of corneal edema, folds in decimets membrane, mild inflammation evident within the anterior chamber and fine keratic precipitates. Chronic. Occurs between three months and several years after the onset of the rash. Uncommon. Neurotrophic, corneal nerve damage causes persistent epithelial defect, thinning and even perforation. Cornea becomes susceptible to bacterial and fungal keratitis. Chronic. Late onset. Uncommon. Mucus plagues, linear gray elevations loosely adherent to the underlying diseased epithelium slash stroma. Chronic. Onset between three months and several years after the onset of the rash. Uveal. Anterior uveitis develops in 40-50% of cases with HZO within two weeks of onset of the skin rashes. Typical HZO keratitis at least mild iritis, especially if Hutchinson's sign is positive for the presence of vesicles upon the tip of the nose. Features. This non-granulomatous iridocyclitis is associated with Small keratic precipitates. Mild aqueous flare. Occasionally hemorrhagic hypopion. HZO uveitis is associated with complications such as iris atrophy and secondary glaucoma are not uncommon. Complicated cataract may develop in the late stages of the disease. Treatment. Treatment is usually with antivirals such as acyclover orally. Uveal. Topical steroids and cycloplegics for several months. Systemic acyclover facilitates the early control of HZO lesions. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.